Hey there everyone, it's been, gosh, almost three years since I've last done a how-to video for Christmas. But i got to show you this cool thing that I just made. Um, it's a rope making machine, and it's completely made out of wood. And the way it works is it ha uses these three hooks, and they all twist at the same time. So if you were to see a tutorial on how to twist your own rope, it works the same way. And the whole thing's made out of wood, even with wooden gears. And I got a crank on it, but I have the drill hooked up to the spindle as well, so I don't have to crank and crank everything. And I got it hooked up to this fancy little remote with um, remote control. A couple of them. So, um, this is the rope making machine used for twisting together Christmas light super strings. So, I think a lot of people that have done Christmas light super strings in the past have you know either hooked them up to a drill or something like that and just hook all three or four strands they're working on together um, hook them onto one hook on a drill and spin them up until they until they latch on each other the only problem is when you do that since there's no counter twist they all want to coil up on themselves and make a big mess the awesome part about a rope making machine is that it twists the individual strands which want to coil on themselves naturally so with this new machine here I got I wanted to try and see if I could take basically a Christmas light rope so these strings will stay coiled naturally and won't ever want to uncoil so I've got this one here with the drill on it and these will twist the individual strings and then after the twist is put on the strings we run over to this side of the garage I've got another drill on this side with one hook and this is where I'll spin the strands the other direction to twist the three together after I've counter twisted on that end so um, I'll get everything set up and I'll uh, show you what that looks like. Okay, I'm back. I got the strings hooked up here on this end, and I'll give you a, uh, I'll show you how I go ahead and label my cords while they're all out here. I just got done testing all these. Uh, you can see on my mega trees, um, since I have one of each color strings, and of course, being my display, it's all incandescent. Um, but I take the uh, plugs and I write the number on the corresponding spot on the mega tree they go and then I just put a color electrical tape denoting the color of the strand so that way after I get all these plugs all 96 around the tree um, it's easy just to grab a set of them and know oh, okay I know right away these go in channel 3 and that the, this is the green one and then there's a white one and then there's a red one so uh, that's how I do that but you can see I got these hooked up here on this hook here I just stuck the hook right through the end here and then uh, when I'm done I'll zip tie this right here after we twist them together and uh, you can see they go all the way over to the other end here to the twister on this side and uh, here's another thing I can show you is how I hook my strands on the top of the mega tree um, I've used these for three years now and the way I do it is I take a washer just zip tie it to the strand just like that, you can see my little zip tie on there. And this actually hooks on the hook head on the mega tree. Well, since I've used these strands before and I'm just now twisting them together because I was sick of putting 96 strands on, I want to take it down to 32 by twisting these together. Um, it just works out great. I can put it right on the hook like this and it's going to work great to twist these together. So what's going to happen is when I turn my little control switch on right there to get this thing twisting, um, these hook heads are going to all twist to the left. And I've learned, I have them twisted in the right earlier, but I've learned that I want to twist it the same direction that the Christmas strands already twisted. So you can see this twist on this strand, all three strings here go to the left. So since all, I want all my hooks to go to the left too, because I actually want to string, string them tighter. Um, so they coil up on themselves naturally. So, um, so that's how that's set up. And you can see I've got a little bit of slack in the line, because as I twist these up more, they're going to tighten up a little bit. So I want to have at least a little bit of slack here. So I'm going to go ahead and get um, set the camera up and see if I can get a recording of the twisting going on. You'll see after I use this end to twist the strings, then I'm going to go over to that end and make the final um, twist the other direction to bind them all together. And you'll see how that works. So um, let's get started on that. Okay, I've got my two remotes here for the two drills, uh, which is going to come in handy. And uh, i got my special cross here I made, which helps keep the strands separate while I twist them. And uh, fair warning, this is going to be really noisy. Oh, 
Okay, so you can see the strings really tightened up. I've put in a lot more twists on them, probably almost double. And then you can see how taunt they are. So now I'm going to grab my other remote with the drill that's right here behind the camera, and we're going to counter twist them the other direction. So I just spun all the strings to the left, and then this is going to spin them all um, from the camera. It's going to look like the left, but it's actually the, um, the opposite direction that they're twisted. So, um, so let's go ahead and do that, and you'll see as I slide my tool down, they're going to start to twist up. Well, I hit the camera. That was great. Okay, let's try that again. Now you can see. Back up on itself. So you can see the twists. Yeah, that's a good picture right there. So the whole thing has coiled on itself. And now I'll just bundle these up. And you can see, unlike doing super strings the normal way where you twist them all together, by doing them the way of making rope, they stay together and these should last a long time. Okay, here's a close-up of the final product. I've already coiled these up together. And you can see closely there how all the strings have a tight coil in them, but they're also coiled around themselves. And you can see, if I unwind this some more, these don't want to recoil on themselves at all. It stays nice and straight, um, which is great. So basically, we made ourselves a Christmas light rope using a rope-making machine. So uh, I know you can buy rope making machines, they're really hard to find, um, but uh, I had the idea of making this using some uh, wood gears. I'll post links to the sites I've learned that from. Um, but uh, it was an experiment I wanted to try and it, it's a little bit time consuming, but it makes a super string that will never come apart on you um, versus twisting them all together at the same time with a drill has in the past. So there's my video so far, so I hope you enjoy it. Real quick here, I did want to show you my old method and uh, why that didn't work so well and why this new method works a little bit better. So you can see before when I made my super strings for like all my tree wraps and things like that, I just had this little um, piece of wood here with the three hooks in it and uh, just a bolt through the middle that I put in the chuck of the drill. And basically what I do is I'd hook all of, uh, the male ends to a fixed point and I'd hook the three female ends on here and uh, the drill would just spin them up and spin them together. The only problem is that um, it would always, because you're putting spin, more spins on the strands together, but not each one individually, after you finished it, the whole thing would want to coil and tangle on itself. Um, because we weren't putting the counter twists on them, um, on each string individually, we were just trying to string them all together. So by putting all the twists the other direction here, before we coil them up the other way, um, basically with this method over on the other side, uh, on the other drill, um, it stays together and it's a very stable string, so there's no coil on it. So I just want to show you my old method and how I think most people probably do it and how this way, although probably a little more time consuming, um, creates a much more stable string. 